indeed. Good afternoon. So I had to help out Joni. So I had to go pick up Brittany on me and from where she works to take her, I don't know, half an hour to home. She had an appointment, so I um, just, she had to swing by her house, get some stuff, drop some stuff off. And I was like, I can take you. Can you get a ride home? She's like, oh yeah, my boyfriend will be off. And I was like, all right. And so, excuse me, I'm going to go home and make pupusas. And I made, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but I have done a video of me making it before, and it, it's, it starts with a C. So it's like cabbage, uh, yeah, it's cabbage. I was like, that sounds wrong. Cabbage, onions, jalapeno, I almost said corn, but I meant carrot. Um, not, not looking forward to it because, I went to move something that was too heavy for me to pick up and I messed up this side of my body. Uh, I can kind of turn because, well, guess what? I can't stop. I have stuff to do. And so I've been trying to continually keep up the house, get the house, you know, kept up and nice and getting everything organized. And I feel like because we have another year there um, as far as I know, we only have a year left in this house um, before we need to start looking again. And we've talked about looking at the first of the year to buy a house. And so the one we really wanted um, looks like it has sold. Actually, it's pending and it's been pending for a few months. So, um, it just, it didn't work out. And uh, don't get me wrong, that one we all loved. Mom had never seen it, but, um, that we loved it, but the outside building had some work to do. They had started to convert it, but it wasn't fully converted yet. So, um, there was still work to be done and we would have still had to shove everyone into the house. And so, yeah, it is what it is. Um, and you know, the egress windows would have had to have been done the whole night. We'd like something that is more suited and big enough because as it stands, I need five bedrooms. And I'd really love to have a basement. I'd love to have a basement that had like three rooms in it, one being big enough to be Anthony and I's room because the temperature is much better in the basement. So, anyway, so we'll start that in a year, but I feel like, you know, trying to get everything organized and dealt with and um, put together that by the time I'm done, we're just going to have to move. But I don't want to have to move so much, so I'm trying to go through everything and see what needs to be done. And then I've been doing crock pot meals and they have come in handy. What have I done so far? So I have a planner. Have I only done the one? I feel like I've done two. I have done two. Oh, okay, so I did baked chicken. And that's the stuff mom's, uh, mom's stuff came in Monday. And that was the day I had potatoes because we had had baked potatoes. Oh, we had made, uh, not prime rib. I don't know what kind of meat that we had. Anyway, um, maybe it was, no, it wasn't prime rib. Anyway, so I had, I had this really, you know, kind of fancier roast and I coated it and it was really good. I should have coated the bottom too. 
<clears throat> it had a nice healthy crust on it. I made that and baked potatoes, so I used those baked potatoes, which I think I have mentioned, my house is where leftovers come to die. So, I had three like large baking potatoes left. I used that on Monday's dinner. I chopped them up, put them in the crock pot, put green beans, fresh green beans, um, over them and a can of cream of mushroom soup and bake or had those going in the crock pot came home because all of a sudden we're headed home and we hadn't heard we were supposed to be given sorry mom was supposed to be given 24 hour notice well they also told her her stuff would be there uh, three to seven uh, three to seven days not business days but days Friday marked seven days. Saturday go by, Sunday goes by. Monday we get a call that the stuff will be there in 30 minutes. 45. It was another couple of hours. Something got like, I don't know if they got lost. Um, it, they were just farther out than they expected. So, they... Um, so we waited and they finally showed up and it wasn't a, uh, what did they say? A semi was bringing it. Mom had a like, not even a full 27 foot trailer full of stuff. Like it wasn't even half of it. They had this fisherman stuff, mom stuff, and then it still had one of those scooters in front of it. So there, in this trailer, there was a lot of room still. So it was on a truck, a dually, and then there was a trailer, enclosed trailer, and they whipped it in there good. They unpacked it. These kids were kids. He was like 25, and I think his friend was. They were headed to Seattle and then Chicago from there. But they were so friendly. They talked to us in the the entire time, making jokes. Um, one of mom's boxes said daddy on it. And, and I guess the joke between them is uh, the guy calls uh, the other one daddy. And he was like, oh, that's my stuff? And I'm busting up laughing. He's like, oh, bad joke. I was like, no, that was funny. And it, they were just, they were the best part of it. But mom had a hope chest that belonged to Annie Doris. This is a very old one. It's got a cuckoo clock. Oh, that hurt. It's got stuff that can't be replaced. Baby blankets, you know, family heirlooms. It has a note on it. This side up, basically, don't put it on its side. So when I had called mom when they were picking up the stuff, which was a totally different guy in uh, California, picked it up. Um, then that guy took it to the these guys and he loaded it. And then they took off and, and got the, you know, came up here. Because they didn't even load it until Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there was only two days to get it delivered, which was really good. It's only a 17 hour drive from where mom did live. So when I was on the phone, mom goes, oh, 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 do not put that on the side. Don't, it's got this. She explained it to this guy. This guy's with a different company. So who she originally went through was Century. Century contracted Cobra. Cobra contracted the guys who delivered it. Little complicated and a lot of bull. So the Cobra guy said, oh, sorry. So they taped, very well taped a sign on there. You can see that it says, don't. Mom's got plastic totes like those 55 gallon ones or whatever it is. They have heavy, heavy boxes on top of these plastic totes. So you can see where they're crushing on top of it. Then they 
start pulling some stuff out, then you see the sign that says, do not put this on its side and it's facing us. Mom is losing her cool at this point. Then what they do is they use stickers and they tag everything. So um, they brought out uh, the cabinet, uh, filing cabinet. And I sat down and I was marking and so we counted and there's like 18 boxes unaccounted, unaccounted for. We think they're there. Well, there is 48 pieces of mom's stuff. A box that is now have been opened before we got it because everything has been taped. Mom and her best friend's brother, Gary, all went through and taped it. Very well taped. So there's no way unless they cut this box open, this box was open and it was toiletries. So there are 48 boxes with no tags identifying where they've come from. And here's the thing, mom thought it was ridiculous when I said, mom, you need to go through all of the boxes and you need to name, like number them. So she has like a one through 106 or something. Then she has the plastic totes and I think it's A through J or something. She doesn't have many totes. And so there are very many unaccounted for items, but we are 100%, well, okay. We're about 85% sure that mom has everything. Um, they kind of pulled because there's uh, a cloth in between each people's things, except for the one towards the end. It was just a uh, writing, um, like, like a. Sorry, Joni called. Anyway, so I don't even remember where I left off because that conversation ended up being like 20 minutes long, and then her asking me to come out to her house. Look, see, I'm in love with buffalo plaid. So I have curtains that are buffalo plaid. Oh, <laughs> I'm such a whiner. Um, and so, anyway, so mom stuff was just kind of not in the best way. Uh, I think there's only one or two things that uh, were broke. Nothing, oh my goodness, major. And so, um, it wasn't, she isn't too upset. But here's the upsetting thing. Century won't call her back. Co Cobra won't call her back. And the boys had nothing to do with it because they didn't put it in the trailer. Um, the guy in California won't call her back. The two representatives she was talking to and have left messages for all of them won't call her back. And so, yeah, it's been interesting. So to file a claim, you have to be able to get someone on the phone. No one will call. No one will return a phone call. No one will do anything now that she has her stuff they don't care to have any customer service anymore and so I just think that's you know total BS but we got her stuff and Monday was the day I did the I, I walked in and we had a pack of three chicken breasts and that fed seven people uh, the three chicken breasts were actually kind of thick, so I ended up slicing them, and one of them was so thick that it was sliced into three pieces, and then there was the potatoes and green beans, and that was dinner. Like, it was that simple. Tonight, not so simple. I have to go home. I have to make the masa. Um, I have to 
make it into the dough because the moss is already ground. <laughs> and then I have to go put everything together. I have, so I used a pork loin, did it in the crock pot Monday, actually Sunday night into Monday, pulled that bag out, then in turn, uh, turned around and dropped in the bag uh, for the green beans and uh, potatoes. Then Tuesday, I had, oh, we had chicken and stuffing in the crock pot. Sorry, brain went bleh. And that fed, that fed eight people actually. So there's five, mom, Kyle, Joni, eight people. Um, that was two full chicken breasts, two box stuffing, I just used the stove top. Can of mushroom, cream of mushroom, like the small can, uh, cream of mushroom soup, chicken soup, and some water. And this time I flipped it because usually I've put thinking the, the chicken's gonna let off some juice, it's gonna, you know, go down to the stuffing. It always burns on me or it gets really crispy. To me, I can taste the burn. Joni says it's really good. And I think Connor said he, he didn't mind it either. So this time, and this is all mixed in a bag except for the stuffing. So all I had to do was turn the bag upside down, put it into, pour everything from the bag, like, you know, got every little bit I could out. So that's the chicken breast and the, the two cans of soup. Then I uh, kind of like, you know, covered the top of the chicken mixture with the stovetop stuffing, the two two bag in a one box, and then um, and then I poured water kind of evenly over the stuffing, and then like I'd walk by and there'd be like a lot of condensation on the top, and so I would pat 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 pat. Uh, to kind of get it to knock down onto the stovetop uh, stuffing. So yeah, I was like, uh, and mom said it was really good. It was really filling. And what they did was because I was gone helping Joni that night. I was like, I can help you. Dinner's taken care of. Mom said, should I do um, a vegetable? And I was like. I'm not home. Everybody over there likes black eyed peas. I do not. So go ahead and do black eyed peas and then I'll just eat when I get home. And that is what I did. And it was really good. They had had the crock pot off for a while and it was still like fairly warm and it was, I think it turned out much better with the stuffing on top. And then last night, what did I, oh I made tacos last night. Rice and beans. And I, so I did the beans in the crock pot then too. Anyway, I'm here at Joni's, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and I will probably film, but I'll do it another video, the pupusas. And I probably do them wrong, but you know, it's me. I do whatever I want. <laughs> Bye, you guys.